Come on, be sick. Be sick. Be sick. Come on, one of you, please. Be sick. I've failed if none of you are sick. Sick, come on, you, you, you. Oh, I failed. I failed. Hello and welcome back to another Virtual Ride 3 Let's Play. Today, I've made something else. I've designed another new ride. This is a Hus Flipper, which is the equivalent of a Super Bowl in this country. Um, basically the same, does the same thing. I've never actually done one in real life. So what I will do today that I haven't done before is just kind of show you around the ride, show you my unique design. I basically pulled all the artwork from Google and made it. It's The bat flash isn't the best to be honest. Um, it's alright. It's not too bad. I've got these toxic signs and stuff. Um, later on in the video as well I do change the title, the text. I downloaded some fonts and used them. But yeah, this is just the back flash I, I literally threw together on a website. Um, I'm no expert at Photoshop or anything like that, so this is my attempt of um, a theme or artwork. But we'll just um, look around the ride and show you kind of the colour scheme I've gone for. It's puke green. It's that toxic colour, but I think it looks good. I'll do change it a little bit later. I think it's too green. You can see the centerpiece there. It needs some um, different colours and the cars are pretty much all green as well. So I do mess around with the colours. And that's what this game is all about. Just tinkering. Messing around with colour schemes, patterns, art, everything. It's very time consuming. But um, I'm really happy with the, with the finished product actually. Of the ride itself. Um, what I didn't know as well, you can actually click all these control panels and control the, the ride via the control panel which is really really cool I mean I don't really use it I prefer the sliders because you can actually look at the ride at the same time with this you don't know what's going on really but I think it's a really cool um, thing you can do so we'll just test the ride out before we open to the public we'll give it a little ride and um, kind of see how it looks but yeah you can see now it's it's so green uh, at the moment I'm just changing the moving heads, you can do that as well, you can change the pattern of the moving heads, the colour, um, the speed, they go, everything. And I've also got jingles now. One of my amazing subscribers emailed me a jingle pack that I downloaded. So thank you to you, you're an absolute legend. All the classics are here. Yeah, I'm just cycling through them now. So yeah, really, really grateful for the uh, for the jingles. Just makes it way more realistic having proper jingles. So yeah, you can see that's completely puke green. So we'll change all that in a minute. But I think it's cool. I think it's cool you can come in and completely customise a ride. Um, like I said, I've never done a Hus Flipper before, but it's very, very similar to a uh, ARM... Super Bowl, I'm pretty sure. Someone tell me in the comments who's ridden both. I certainly haven't ridden both. I think Martin Cooper's done a uh, flipper. I'm not sure even are they in Germany or America. I'm not sure where you kind of kind of get them, but yeah, I've never done one. I would like to. As you can see, even the trailer there is green. It's all way too much green. It's it's pretty disgusting. I thought I'd give you some gameplay with just hearing the, the huss sound. It's sexual, isn't it? Look at that. Again, this is boner territory. This is the noises on this game are beautiful beautiful but yeah you get some pretty good spins on these again I don't know the difference between this and a super bowl there is one it looks exactly the same to me but yeah I chose this ride because um, I love super bowls and I love the style of ride and I just thought I could slap a really good theme on it and it would make a good video um, there's so many riders to do I wasn't do the Hus break dance but I'm still trying to think of a a theme I want to apply to that ride. I just thought the toxic theme is it's quite generic, but it, it completely sums up the uh, Funfair community. So I thought I'd name it after you guys, um, some of you guys, the dickheads. You know who you are. Uh, <laughs> As you can see now, I'm just changing the uh, the cars. Gets 
the bottom half of the car where I want them black. I mean, that already looks 10 times better. Um, it just breaks up the, the green. Again, you can do it all here and the customization. There's, there's so many options. You really just have to, to, to really get into it. You can change stuff like the moving heads. There's like a CO2 cannon, uh, flamethrowers, lasers. The bubble machine you can um, put on here as well. So many different attachments. It's fantastic. The more I'm getting into this game, the more I'm learning about it. So yeah, you just got to really play with it, with the uh, the set and the speakers as well. Like you can get speakers, your sound system sorted out. It's fantastic. I'm absolutely loving it. I'm really really enjoying it. And if you haven't, go back and check out the the other two episodes. I started off doing the KMG inversion, um, my version of Rock Rage. I did that, and then we did the Waltzer. Um, in last week's episode, so definitely check them out. They are linked below in the description. Here's just a little look at the uh, moving head lasers and speaker setup. I applied them all previously, as you saw. <clears throat> and just a look at the ride, I think the black cars look so much better. So much better. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'm happy with the theme, I'm happy with the ride. I think it looks great. I will do a video explaining how to add custom themes. I've had a lot of requests for that, as well as like inserting your own jingles and MP3 audios and changing the font. It's all pretty, it's pretty basic, but it is a little bit time consuming. But if you are interested, I will definitely make a little tutorial on that. Um, look at that packing. Proper, proper packed that is, isn't it? What we will do in a minute, we'll get, um, after we've just done a little walk around the platform, checking everything out. I'm just showing you this ride in a lot more depth. I noticed in the last couple of videos, hey guys, I noticed in the last couple of videos, I kind of just jumped to the ride without kind of showing you around the ride, so I'm showing you around the ride now. Um, you can just walk around this fair. It's one massive fair you can walk around, so you've got these guys here who look happy, uh, serving something in German. I don't know what that is, but this, coffee? Coffee, 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 steam milk. I don't know, but yeah, you can walk around um, <clears throat> ride to ride if you want, or you can just quick select it from the menu. Is that's what I do. Yeah, hit subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help the channel out. Um, thank you. Do that. Do it now. Quick, quick. Do it now. Do it now. Look at these flame throws you can put on as well. So imagine the Super Bowl going round, and you, you literally be a few inches away from the from the. Um, fire the flames it probably send your eyebrows off but uh, pretty cool effect they eh? up close and personal so i really like the uh, the frame flares as well but i normally just go for like smoke moving heads or lasers we don't really get machines using flames in this country hello mate it's a nice little tattoo you got there you're just staring at the the back flash fair enough i'll let you get on with it i don't i don't pay these guys to stare in this space but that's what they're doing um yeah we don't really get a lot of flamethrowers in this, in this country. I think, uh, what ride used it? I saw it a whole couple of years ago. I think it was Air Raid. Um, come on, let me in. I've got a, I got a, got a machine to run. Look what I spy. Five, two, five? Hey, come on, we need some more riders on this one. Come on, we need some more riders this way. This way. So let's send this bad boy. Let's get some customers. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> let's get ready to rumble! I'll just shut up for a minute and send the ride so you can hear some of the, the jingle overload that I use. Obviously they're new so I just want to pile on the jingles. Yeah, I'm really happy with the Toxic Ride. I think it's great. You can tell me in the comments below it's great. Come on, show me some love. Yeah, smash the like button. Really helps the channel as well. So yeah, no music at the moment. I'm literally just... Um, getting hard over the engine sounds. It is a Huss motor after all, so gets me sexually excited. 
I haven't actually done many high spray dances. I think I've done one, which is at Winter Wonderland uh, 2017, something like that. But yeah, I need to get on another high spray dance. I know this isn't a break dance, I'm just saying I need to ride more Huss machines. So yeah, this thing is proper rapid, isn't it? Look at that. It's giving me ride envy. I really just want to get riding. I've only been without a ride, what, a month? And I'm I'm desperate. I'm so desperate I'm playing a uh, Funfair Simulator. <laughs> Here we go, let's see if we can burn people's wigs off or uh, send in some eyebrows. I wouldn't mind that on a uh, on a on a cold cold day, warm me up a little bit, wouldn't it? One of these winter fairs. Just showing you a little bit of on ride. I mean, you do get some pretty. You're not getting 360 flips. So I'm sure there's a way. I'm probably not sending it right. To be fair, I've just put both sliders up to full and hoping for the best. I'm sure there's a way you can get them to proper spin 360s. You can see I apply the brakes and then on apply the brakes to try and get that spin. But yeah, I'll, I'll just play with it and try and get these cars rocking 360 if I can. <clears throat> but no, I'm definitely happy with the uh, the look of the ride. I think it looks great. Okay, we need one more time. Let's go. actually want to pick out ultimate ride control I think it's called um, it's on, not on steam but it's a ride where you can literally build the rides up from scratch so they come folded up in the trailer and you have to click to fold them all out and stuff you have to do the maintenance on the rides I want that but it's like 20 quid so I'm gonna have to wait till payday to get it but um, again that's quite a demanding game to run so hopefully my laptop can run it if it can I will, will do a video series on that because um, it's amazing been watching Alan play it from SAT uh, Family Gaming, and he, yeah, it's, it's, it's made me want to play it. It looks absolutely fantastic, and they have a Tivoli remix and extreme on the game, and a Miami, believe it or not. So a bit more, a bit more British rides there. This game is very much focused on German American rides, a lot that we don't have in this country. But Ultimate Ride Control, or Ride Control Ultimate, sorry, has a really good selection of machines on it. So I'll definitely try and make some videos on that as well. Including, actually, I've got this really bad PS5 game called Theme Park Simulator. It's like a mobile version ported. And I might do a video on that. I might do a live stream on that, actually. Um, so we can just rip it rip it apart live. Be fun. So yeah, I'm, I'm relatively happy with this ride. I do change a little bit more in a minute. I make the centre, um, the boon, black, as long as, and the railings. I've turned the railings black as well. I still need. I still think it's too puke green for my liking. So I just make a little bit more adjustments to the colour scheme. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. Obviously, you won't have to put up this kind of content too long. Fairs will be back, I'm guessing, February, Valentine's. I've already seen posters for Valentine's uh, fairs. Well, up north, anyway. I've seen nothing locally, unfortunately. But um, that will be coming relatively soon. So, if you can, hold out. Um, but I know some of you do actually generally enjoy these uh, gaming videos. There's a big lover of these um, simulators. And I'm really grateful for it all your advice as well about the game people telling me uh, shortcuts and stuff to do I really do appreciate that I do need all the help I can get like I said I'm very new to it um, again as you can see now I am just changing the colors like I said earlier giving it a bit more black um, this breaks up that horrible green and yellow which is a combination um, it's not very pretty on the eye uh, but the black does break up pretty well I think who is it I think it was Bailey or Cameron, someone was watching me and said uh, my ride basically it's like the equivalent to a can of lilt, 
which is a pop drink here in the UK. Uh, and <laughs> it, it, it does, it does. Just changing the signs there as well. I didn't show you this earlier, but you can actually ch change the pattern of the, the signs and the um, splats. So that's pretty cool as well. So much to learn, so much to do. Yeah, you can get lost for hours. And I literally have put hours into this game. I'm like 22 hours in already, and I've only been playing it a week, something like that. So it's definitely a time sink, very, very time consuming. But um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it, really, really enjoying it. I am basically, I'm not just going ride to ride, running everything. I'm kind of, I'm trying to hone in on one ride at a time, learn that, design that, and then uh, move on to the next. But yeah. I'm happy with my flipper. You can see the boon there is just black now, and I think that looks so much better, so much more appealing to the eye. Um, I love those splats as well, the toxic symbols that I did steal off Google. Um, what's up? What's up, buddy? Are you gonna move or am I gonna move? You just punch me! Look! Jab! You just jab me in the stomach. Right, now I am changing the um, font. That is just the generic font, that toxic, that comes in the game. Um, but I just went onto a font website, downloaded this one here. I just literally looked for a toxic style font and I found this one. And I think, oh, that would look nice. Um, on top of my flash. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, that's more, it's more themed that font and you can add any font any font you can find online you can add that to the game as well which does really help because the in-game fonts um, they're a little bit a little bit shit i've got to be honest but yeah that's the new toxic font and i think we are literally ready to open this bad boy up to the public now i'm i'm, I'm really happy with the theme in the look i just need to get some customers and give them the ride of their life yes i do Right, let's get into our pay box, if she'll let me in this time. She's just sat there um, taking tokens. Right, let's get this control panel on. Let's get this ride sent. Let's go. Hey, come on, we need some more riders on this one. Come on, we need some more I'll kind of just shut up and, let, and just let you watch me do my thing now. Instead of just blabbering and talking over it all. I'll just... Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll just let you watch. If you've got what it takes, then, 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 buy your tokens now, for the next ride. Okay, 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 okay. Pull your safety bars down to love. Put your hands in the air if you want to go faster! Let's go, 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 Yeah, 
Yeah, I still haven't really sorted out other tunes yet, so it's, I've only got like about five MP3s loaded onto the game. That's why you're hearing the same songs that you did on the waltzer. Okay, let's go crazy! Yeah, let's go run the best! Let's go so yeah, I need to sort out some new tunes. I will do that, but it's all time consuming. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Just need a few more banging tunes and we'll be well away. Hopefully we can make some people sick as well. Let's get this thing a rocking. Yeah. I still haven't quite figured out this mic work. I'm still novice, very novice. Sound like a twat. But yeah, that's a five minute cycle, which is a good value for uh, two tokens. Inflation and all, I might need to put my prices up for three tokens next year. Or this year. What year are we in? 23. Oh, you do that for about two months, don't you? Okay, Get the wrong month. So yeah, that was the first one. We'll just do another one. Another way you can kind of mix the cycles up so you can raise the platform without the car spinning, you can raise the platform with the car spinning. So many different ways to, to mix and match the cycles and I really like that and I do like giving different types of cycles. The showman life's easy isn't it? <laughs> I'm joking. This is the easy part, sending the ride. Hard part is um, maintenance, building up, pulling down, in all weathers. Jason Derulo. This is really fun ride to operate. The waltz is a bit boring if I'm honest, just just one slide of it. This is quite good. You can on, on and unlock the brakes. Uh, you control the the boon arm and lifting up and drop in and the speed of the platform. Yeah, it's a really really interesting ride to run this one. Definitely more interesting than the waltz, which is very basic. <clears throat> the break dance is fun as well. Really fun. You can get crazy on there. Crazy. That's it. Um, yeah, really impressed. Thank you so much for checking out this uh, uh, video, guys. If you have enjoyed it, uh, please smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And check out the Virtual Ride 3 playlist where we do a couple of other rides. Um, regular scheduled vlogs will be back very soon, so hang in there. And if you've made it to the end of this video, I applaud you. You guys are bloody awesome. Thank you so, 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 so much. And no, we didn't make anybody sick. So I failed as a ride up. I'm poor. I should retire. I should leave it to the experts. Thank you so much, guys. We will see you in the next one. Uh, bye for now. Bye for now. Probably a break dance. Let me know. Um, yeah. I'll leave it up to you to decide. Bye for now. Bye for now.